All right, guys. Well, super excited to make this video. Um, so here we have the MJG Firework Initiator. Is the actual um, name of this product itself. Um, so yeah, I went ahead and ordered these from Pyroboom.com. I'm super excited to finally get these here and kind of do a little video on them and talk about them and how hopefully this will really change. Um, the consumer end of firework shows. So yeah, like I said, these are this is the MJG brand, MJG Technologies, um, Firewire Initiator is the name of it. So I got these from Pyroboom.com. Ordered them not too long ago. Um, I know he couldn't ship them with my regular order just because of the hazard that they are, and so they have to be shipped separately. Um, but it only took about an extra week. Um, it was actually interesting the box it came in was labeled with all sorts of like hazard warnings and you couldn't ship it through the air and all these different things but yeah so we finally got them so this is what it comes in this is a box of 40 um, so yeah we'll go ahead and open this box up so yeah and really there is no difference it's basically just electric match um, that's basically what it is they just finally were able to you know get this on the consumer level so yeah like I said this right here is the igniter or as they call it the initiator itself um, the only difference is it's a blue and a white wire um, versus um, the other talent igniters um, but yeah um, basically here's the end and here's the the big difference right here if I can get this pulled back if you can see that that right there is the big difference There we go. So we are working with 100% electric match. This is black powder on the end, and so no more nichrome wire that has to heat up, and you know you have that delay between lighting. We now have instant ignition. Um, so I have never, I haven't fired any a single one of these yet. So we're gonna do some test um, test clips in this video where I'm gonna hook this up to my system and hook it up to a fuse and see how it works but so yeah this I mean this is instant ignition it's just like an e-match it's gonna flash it's gonna burn super quick and just give you that reliability that you need with an electronic igniter um, and then the cover just slips right back over it super excited to finally get these um, like I said I've you've been using talent igniters for years and years and I've always had problems with you know just that not only that delay between when the wire has to heat up but just problems with it not lighting and just the you know just the issues that come with that setup so to finally get these on a consumer level is super exciting and we're using every last one of these for the show this year and so before i, I definitely want to see how these work so i'm going to be you know this next part of this video is going to be some test clips and we'll I'll let you guys know exactly how this stuff works and give you my full review on them so yeah Stay tuned for that here in just a sec. All right, guys. So here's the first test we're gonna run. Um, I've got a module here. One of my firing systems is the same thing as the CP12 Pro. This is just an individual 4Q module that I got. Um, so yeah, what we have here obviously is we've got the module, the 4Qs, and then we've got the remote. Um, and then the most important thing is the MJG Firewire Initiator. Um, so yeah, we've got it in Q1 here. I'm gonna go ahead and arm turn the system on you can see we've got continuity we've got the igniter up there make sure that our remote is turned on which it is and then we're gonna go ahead push one and see what it does all right so yeah it worked perfectly um, literally the second I hit that button it fired so yeah looks like we're good to go I was a little nervous just want to make sure that this e-match new e-match on the market worked with this system worked flawlessly I mean that was instant ignition the second I hit that button so really excited to get this fused up with some fuses and see how it works all right guys so for test number two we're actually going to use some fuse um, but really the biggest difference here is I've got these clips that are meant for visco um, your visco fuse goes in that end and your e-match goes in that end so what we have here is we got the green visco in on that side and then the opening for the e-match and I chose this fuse because this is probably the hardest fuse to light so if the e-match lights this I know I'm 
not gonna have a problem lighting anything. So yeah, these are these are the clips. It's just a op smaller opening for fuse and then the opening for the E-match. So yeah, this will be the next test. I'm gonna go ahead and get the E-match all wired up and then I'll, we'll fire it up and see how it goes. All right guys, so there we go. We got, got it all wired up. And that's the cool thing about these clips is you can wrap the wire around the plastic clip so you can't tug out the E-match part of the actual um, set up here. So we've got the E-match in there, we got the Visco fuse pulled in, we got continuity. Let's go ahead and fire this. Oh yeah, man. That worked perfectly. So I know for a fact that if it can fire that, it can fire anything. So yeah, let's go. I'm stoked for the fourth with these guys. Finally have E-match, finally. No more waiting on the old Talon igniters to heat that wire up. Thanks for watching, guys.